Let's talk more about that risk because the property market really dominates a lot of the consumer sentiment, isn't it? It really drives how you spend. So if the property market is down, people tend to hold back a little bit. And that's why we saw that slight drop we saw in retail sales. Do you think that's going to be a turnaround at some point? Um, actually, if we look at some of the mortgage um, data, that is already showing some signs of improvements. Uh, so we do expect, you know, some of that momentum uh, to gradually uh, pick up for 2022. Uh, in terms of consumer spending, uh, you know, with Chinese New Year approaching, that usually is a bit of a boost in, in terms of uh, consumer sentiment. So we do expect to see some gradual improvements in the next quarter. Right. You have retail lending, you have corporate lending. And then, of course, within corporate lending, there, there, there's the SME segment. And there has been, uh, through this cycle, a lot of pressure on SMEs, uh, the risk of defaults rising. Do you think they can work their way through the fear to actually step up on demand for lending? This is an extension of uh, what Christine was asking you earlier. Yeah. Uh, in terms of SME lending, um, the issue we think is not so much the demand side. Uh, it's just that banks are still uh, fairly cautious when it comes to SME lending because of um, the credit risks that are involved. Uh, the authorities have done a lot to encourage SME lending in recent years. Uh, in fact, if you look at the um, bank reportings, um, most banks would, would you know, report a higher overall uh, SME lending growth compared to their average lending. So there are efforts being made to address the supply uh, of, of SME lending. And, and likewise, for 2022, we still expect SME lending uh, to be one of the drivers in terms of loan growth for this year. How successful have uh, the triple R cuts been that we've seen thus far? Because now the market is pricing in one more 50 basis points cut in 2022. But I wonder the CDs that we saw through 2021, how well did they work through the system? Yeah. In terms of triple R reductions, it does not have the same impact uh, on credit creation as it did in, uh, in previous years. Reason being, uh, it's also the bank capital that places uh, a constraint in terms of how much uh, the banks are willing to lend um, the, that uh, together with uh, credit risk considerations. So the triple R reductions actually um, it is more effective in terms of reducing funding costs for banks. Uh, and as a result of that, banks have more room to pass on some of that uh, funding cost savings uh, into lowering borrowing rates uh, for SME borrowers in particular.